Hello, there's the next question. You need to pause and read it very carefully so that you can understand the solution. And let me explain what it says. It says there's an infinitely large layer of charge. So this is infinitely large layer of charge that you have placed over here. The thickness is T. The charge distribution is non-uniform and it depends on this. That means uh, this has this will have let's say Q1 charge, then this will have a Q2 charge, then this will have a Q3 charge and so on. So we can think of this T thickness as combination of N number of plates where N is very large number and uh, they are placed parallelly. So basically this is a collection of so many plates we can think of. And uh, we know because of one plate, what we know is this, because of one plate, if there's a one plate and it carries a charge Q, so the field this side or if you look at the field at uh, right hand side it will be in this direction if Q is a positive it's come out to sigma upon 2 epsilon naught or you can write it as a Q upon twice A epsilon naught and this side you will experience the field E as uh, Q upon twice A epsilon naught so point is the field is uh, uniform and it is directed uh, as per these directions in both sides so that's an important point we are going to use now since here so many plates are there now the field at any location it doesn't depend on the distance from the plate so we can think of this as basically a single plate and having a total charge let's assign a total charge as a q so the the field on this right side will be in this direction and how much this is going to be it's going to be q upon twice a epsilon naught and here you'll find the field is going to be q upon twice a epsilon naught because of this charge of the uh, that the charge on this layer now it says there is a externally existing uniform field as well so that the resultant field with the ex existing field comes out to be e1 at e2 so we must say that the existing field uniform must be in this direction so this is e original these are because of the charge of the plates these are the finally coming in so we can simply say that uh, this e2 is the resultant of these two that means we can write uh, let me segregate this because this is something as a formula we have used now here we can easily say that uh, this e plus q upon twice a epsilon naught this number must be equal to e2 as well as we can say uh, e minus q upon twice a epsilon naught this must be equal to E1. In question, we have been given E1 and E2. E is unknown, Q is unknown. So both we can calculate by using these two equations. If you solve these two equations, you can find how much E is. To get E, you just add these two equations. That will be sufficient. You will find some sort of this like E2 plus E1 divided by 2. So this will give us E. Not only E, it is also going to ask give us q just subtract the two when you subtract the two so you will find this this is going to be added up right and when you are going to add it up you will get some sort of this q upon a epsilon naught because it will be twice or twice is getting cancelled out is going to be equal to e2 minus e1 so that results into q value which is a epsilon naught e2 minus e1 understood we got E, that means how much the external uniform field was. We are also able to identify how much the charge of this layer is. Now what it says, it says we need to find the expression of the force per unit area experienced by this layer. Now ultimately this layer or originally this layer was placed on this field. So basically this charge was placed on this field. Now if there is a charge placed on a field which is uniform and this charge distribution is there, so we can say the net force is going to be Q into E. So we can say net force on layer or uh, charge plate, we can say this has to be F is equal to uh, Q into E. We can multiply this E with this Q. If we go with this, we will find this Q is A epsilon naught E2 minus E1, whereas E was E2 plus E1 by 2. 
Now we need to find force per unit area. So force per unit area, this is what we are looking for. So this is going to be equal, you can divide by area and you can rewrite it. It's going to be half epsilon naught and this A plus B, A minus B stuff, everybody knows, becomes A square minus B square. So this will become our final answer as a force per unit area acting on that layer, charged layer. Okay, thank you everyone.